Now, you might not prefer the taste of butter coffee at first, I didn't, but chances are you're going to love how butter coffee makes you feel. More energy, clearer mind, you might even lose some weight. I did. So here's how to make butter coffee. Today we're using the pour over method, so our first step is to rinse our filter with boiling hot water. This mitigates some of the paper flavor from the filter, and it'll warm the cup so our drink stays nice and hot. After a few moments, we'll discard the water, setting aside our coffee cone. Next, we'll add two tablespoons of unsalted, grass-fed butter. I'm using Kerrygold. If this is your first butter coffee, maybe start with just one tablespoon of butter. Then we'll add two tablespoons of MCT oil, which is just a mix of coconut and palm kernel oils. If this is your first butter coffee, definitely start with just one tablespoon of MCT oil. Next, we replace our coffee cone, add some freshly ground coffee beans, and start brewing. And remember, the better the bean, the better the buzz. So patronize your local roaster. We'll bloom the grounds first with just a splash of hot water. This releases some carbon dioxide and other gases trapped in the roasting process. Then we'll slowly spiral the water over the grounds, but never touch the sides of the filter. When we're halfway done brewing, we'll remove the coffee cone and stir our coffee. A vigorous stir with a spoon or fork would do just fine, but we'll give it the sensual foaminess of a latte with a handheld milk frother. I got this one for less than 20 bucks on Amazon. So we'll just stick it in here and give it a spin, with a little slow-mo for dramatic effect. I took this fabulously fatty footage with my 5S. At the end of this video, I'll link to another 5S project of mine. Last winter, during the polar vortex, I built a cheap microscope with my iPhone to catch ice crystals in the act of forming. It was pretty cool. No, seriously, it was 10 below. I got frostbite shooting that video. Anyway, our coffee cone goes back on and we finish brewing the coffee. While waiting for the last few delicious drops of coffee to fall, now's a good time to put away and clean our supplies. And our butter coffee's ready. We'll give it a taste. Mmm, like sunshine in a cup. And that's all there is to it. I hope you give butter coffee a try. If you do, let me know what you think in the comment section below. 